Hi guys and welcome to your daily tarot reading for Monday the 22nd of March 2021. Thank you for joining me. I'm going to use the Tarot of the Water for today's reading. This is an odd deck. It's Each card is done by a different artist. So it's not very cohesive because the style is very, very different. But I think it's quite interesting. Look at that. Really interesting different styles. So let's see what these cards have to say about Monday, the 22nd of March, 2021. Wow. 22 is the master number of the builder. Three is about communication, new beginnings. 2021. Five, two, two, one. Freedom. Okay, so those are key things for the day because I don't usually look at the dates but that wanted to be mentioned the knight of cups the four of wands oh i love four of wands is such a great card and not just because i want to get married myself because in general it's a great card <laughs> okay the knight of cups a court card the four of wands minor arcana card happy 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 four of cups another minor arcana card water water fire Cups is water, wands is fire, fire is masculine, it's about your will, your desire, what I want. I want to get married, I want to have a good time. Water, I feel, I connect, I am loved, I love. It's much more about the emotional side of things. So the Knight of Cups, very romantic here with the little heart shape that he's making with his fingers. Little seahorse is floating through it, a little otter is floating around him with snails. So he's like um, the male version of... Is it Snow White who like, no, Cinderella, who um, the birds surround her and stuff and make her a little dress. Is that Cinderella? Could be Snow White. Anyway, it's the story where the princess has nothing and she's friends with all the bunnies and the rabbits and the little animals and um, she needs their help. So they come along and make her a dress. So it's very romantic. It's very Disney kitsch, like communion with nature and everyone loves each other. And it's just like happy dream world. And that's what the knight of cups is because the knight is always extreme either he's romeo and he's so madly in love that he needs to die for the other person or he's just so in love with nature and connected with nature that he does this and little seahorses appear and float through and the otters are like nudging him loving him it's too much too much and the knight of cups says that the emotions are going to be extreme and you know it's too much of a good thing like when you go to the store and um you see someone walking towards you and you smile and in that moment you're waiting for them to notice you and to come nearer and to see you and to look at you and to smile back and in your mind's eye you're imagining your marriage your wedding how wonderful your life is going to be together and then that other person doesn't even look up and walks walk straight past you and it's like oh well, there goes the man of my dreams. There goes my ideal relationship. Have you ever had? It's ridiculous. But sometimes we look at someone or we meet someone and we just go off on this extreme fantasy mission. And we're like, oh, I can just paint the whole future with this. I can imagine it. That's what this is. It's wishful thinking. It's too much of a good thing. It's being extreme in your emotions and um, assigning things meaning that they don't really have. Like when you fall in love with someone... And you, you um, have this whole relationship in your mind, but in reality, you've never even exchanged words. Then you're experiencing something that's very real. You may be madly in love, but it has nothing to do with reality because the other person doesn't even know that's going on for you. Next, we got the Four of Wands, which is about simply dancing on a boat with the dogs and having a good time. Everyone's having fun. It's about enjoying life. And despite your extreme emotions, you can have a good time. But don't go overboard and feel like if you have a good time with someone, if you have a good conversation, then that they, may, them, they must be the love of your life. Or if you um, do something new that you've never tried before, like let's say you, you sand down this boat because your friend asks you to. You've never done anything like it, but you absolutely find yourself loving it when you're doing it, and you're like, this is so great. I'm going to become a yachty. I'm going to work on a yacht as a, as a little crew member or whatever. It's too much. It's too extreme. So if you fall in love madly, deeply, unbelievably today with a thing or a place or a person, don't immediately throw out your whole life and, and move to Tunisia or 
um, sell your house or whatever it is, just because you've had this moment of, wow, it's going to fade. It's not always going to be that way. And you don't want to disappoint yourself. So there is the opportunity to to really go in a new direction because you're so full of love and you just adore it so much. It's not a direction that's going to help you. Eventually, in the next few days, as you take more and more steps on this new path, the energy fades off and you'll be like, why did I commit to this? It's not nearly as fun as I thought. And that's because the emotions are heightened today and slanted in the positive and anything that you usually would find good or fine or okay or great is now sensational and unbelievable and mind-blowing finally the four of cups the four of cups is about being ungrateful and unreceptive and not seeing all of the good stuff you have in your life even though you're very blessed and really feeling hard done by and rejecting yourself and looking at the world and seeing it as as holding your happiness and that you need to go out and find that somehow. So we've got this mermaid. She's got three cups here, which are all around her. She's kind of staring at us or she's a little bit cross-eyed by the looks of things. Yeah, she's looking at her nose. <laughs> okay. Well, she's certainly not looking at the cups and the cups, let's say health, happy family, enough food to eat, things you should be grateful for. She has all this. She's got more blessings coming in. But because she's not really doing anything and just kind of staring around, she can't even see all of the good things in her life. So on one hand, you're totally blind to what really is good. On the other hand, you're going totally overboard on what feels good. And here we've got two people dancing on a boat. And it could result in you acting in ways which aren't aligned with who you really are. Like, let's say you never have one night stands. You're only into long term relationships. You meet someone, you just, it's just crazy how attracted you are to them. There are warning signs, but you don't really look at those. And the other person suggests, hey, why don't we have a one night stand? Even if that goes against your, you know, personal rules, on this day, you may be, uh, you may be tempted to do something like that something irrational, something passionate, something exciting. Because another person says it's okay, because you don't see the usual warning signs that you usually would, everything is great and fabulous, and you just have the, the, the potential to run off in the wrong direction altogether today. So this card isn't as happy as it seems at first in this reading, because it presents you with a reality that is very, very fragile and that's super temporary. It isn't going to last. And if you devote yourself to that reality, you're going to be disappointed because it will crumble sooner or later. So instead, try and be balanced in your feelings and in your actions and don't rush into things which are really, really life changing which have no guarantee and which are completely motivated by your feelings on this day. If you find yourself doing that, then you're really um, in dangerous water because it's the extremity of the day that can cause you problems. If you try and keep it simple and balanced and calm, and even if you do fall madly in love, and you say, hey, do you know what? Before we get married immediately after knowing each other for 40 minutes, how about we go on a second date in a few days? That's the way to handle this. So you can still get all the good stuff, but you can suss it out a little bit more and you don't have to immediately jump into things and uproot your whole life and experience. Four and four. First of all, in my Twitter and Instagram um, handles, my name is Gregory Scott 444. The reason I have 444 in there is because um, I see that as taking divinely guided action on planet Earth. And that's basically what I try and do my whole life. Rather than me, my will, which usually gets me into trouble, I say, universe, what do you want me to do? And I try and hear what it wants me to do and I try and follow instructions because those things have a much happier outcome. Whereas when I'm full of self, my ego gets involved and usually things go awry. And it's perfect with this reading because if you try and suss out what the universe wants for you, you'll see that you're being given something free of charge. 
But if you just go on your desires, you're really going to gallop off in a direction which isn't guided by source, it's guided by your ego, and which then causes you problems. If you listen to what's being given to you, that's going to be far more enriching than doing something spontaneous. So 4 and 4 allows you to listen to your higher self and not to make these mistakes. And then the night counts as 1, so that's 8. 4 and 4 is 8 and 1 is 9. 9 is spirituality, completion. It's the hermit in the tarot. And it's about being solo and realizing that the light of truth and the joy is within you. It doesn't lie out in the world. So you don't need to acquire happiness today. You've already got it within you. Happiness lives in you, not out there in France or in Israel or wherever. You'll be able to finish that cycle and you're not going to be as prone to extreme emotional reactions by managing and learning it on this day. And that's going to serve you as one of these cups for the future. So have a wonderful day. If you would like a personal reading with me, please get in touch via my website, gregoryscott.com. On the front page, click on book your reading to order your reading with me. I use the tarot, astrology and numerology in my personal reading. So the way I just combine the numbers and the cards, I combine all three. And I can really see a lot of information, you know, by looking at your birth charts. It tells me everything about you. So if you have any questions or you want some clarity, please do get in touch for a personal reading. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe and share the video online. Have an amazing day and I'll speak to you tomorrow.